sure this is the place? Well, it had trees and a hill for us to go down. Well, where ain't they trees and hills in Kentucky? Ah, ow! Ooh. Well, I'm pretty sure this is it. This is it. Aston Bingham, what are you doing here? Mr. Boone, Israel, you already on your way to hunting? I thought uh, Rebecca was expecting you to help dig salt. Well, that's what we're going to do as soon as. Soon as what? Mr. Boone, do you believe in dreams? You mean believe people have them? No, that they foretell. Mama did. Well, I once had a dream that I was shipwrecked, and then I woke up to find that I was in the worst thunderstorm I'd ever seen. Well, S had us a dream last night about treasure. Yeah, Bingen and me was brought here, and he told us to go down this hill clear to the bottom. But that's on a dug sacred ground. Ah, they ain't always there. Well, they're down there right now. This is the time of year when young braves go up into the hills as holy men to have a vision so they can come down later and claim a bride. Is that the same as getting hitched? Well, it's more serious when they're holy. Considerably more so. You stumble into that and they'll scalp you from head to heel. Was that in our dream? I just remember the treasure. That's where they made their mistake, giving him the dream instead of me. I slept on his side of the pallet last night on account of he went to bed first last night. You go on down that hill, and you'll be lucky to come back as bald as skeletons. And if I come back with this pack horse full of fresh meat and no salt to preserve it with, you're going to wish that the Onondagas had finished you off. Well, he means he'd be milked. Now, I would appreciate it if you'd just go on back and help Rebecca and dig that salt. Huh? Right now. Ah. Oh. You don't have to worry about us, Mr. Boone. I won't. Just as soon as I see you two on your way. Well, he don't trust us. don't mean a bit to him. Not even the teeniest little bit like that. What he don't know is we're the two most trustworthy guys in all of Boonesboro. Bingin'. Bingin'. This ain't the way to Mrs. Boone. I ain't giving up our treasure for no lady's salt. fresh meat for your ma and enough left over for salting. When are we going to start home? Well, as soon as we get that bear ham for Christmas. Sure glad you didn't shoot the one we saw back there. How'd you know she still had a cub back in her cave? 
Oh, you get to where you notice things. Well, uh, she was still nursing. There isn't anything about the woods you don't know. Every once in a while, I get to thinking that's right. And then something happens that shows me that there's ten times more to learn than I found out. I reckon there always will be. Is it a private joke? You and the Heinzes. They'd have sure been in trouble if they'd have gone to those sacred hunting grounds of the Onondagas. You sure scared them out of it. Mm. You know, I think I'm gonna have myself another piece. Help yourself. Mm. Treasure count to him up alongside his old salt. Yeah, besides, there's plenty of time for digging salt when we get back. What, with our pockets full of first class gold and some diamonds? Mama always said to me, she said, Yes, when you're a rich and famous man, you still be neighborly. That's why I'm neighborly to you, Bingham. Us Heinz has got to look out for ourselves. You know, I was just remembering, Bingham. What about? Did our dream have gold and diamonds both in it? Don't you remember that? I wish I had come to you instead of me. Well, if you'd been prompter patching my pants and got in on your own side, it would. Well, it had gold and diamonds both. I'm pretty sh sure. What do you mean, pretty sure? I'm pretty sure I hear savages. You're changing the subject. No, I'm positive. I hear savages. <laughs> My home is with a man who will find me when he comes down from his vision. The house of your mother renounces you. Her house is not your home anymore. I will wait here for the man. Hey! the trees who has left her mother's house never more until she dies can her mother's house be home to her a woman waits alone until your vision surrenders you to her Bing let's go we daren't ask. Not until they finished their bloodthirsty rites and left. Atawa, speak of your vision. For two suns and for two moons, 
No vision came. Although I neither ate nor drank. And what treasure did the third son bring? Yes. They're going to tell us where the treasure is. At the end of the third day, as the moon rose, a young girl appeared to me as if she grew out of the ground. Her dress was green, as pale as snow. Corn. Corn was his vision. Corn? Atawa, come down and tell us more of your vision. There was a silence between us, and I was afraid. Suddenly, her hair turned red as flame, as corn does when she is truly ripe. Still, I did not see her face, even when she spoke. Corn spoke to him. She said, Atawa, I am your wife. I will marry you in the dark hour before the dawn. The marriage fire will touch my hair, and you will see that it is red as flame. And then, Atawa, you will see my face and know who your wife truly is. No! Wise woman, Blackfish, Dawn is my promised wife. My spirit belongs to her. Without me, she has no life, no home. Her mother has closed her house to her. Corn is our goddess. Corn is our mother. She has honored us through you. Her will must be obeyed. Oh, she will leave our fields and we will die. How can we obey? Where is there a woman with hair red as the marriage fire? The goddess will help us in the search. She has her own ways. We will find the woman with the red hair, who is our goddess on this earth. And you will marry her with joy. <laughs> that poor forlorn little squaw, just because her hair ain't red. She ain't got no house, she ain't got no bad to bury her. Thank God, oh, Mama. Oh, shut up that noise. We ain't even gonna have ourselves. I'm trying to stop it. Chief cuts us loose. That could be even worse. Oh, yeah, because they could. Or maybe even. Or. Imagining's terrible. You ain't imagining, ass. Nice piece of real estate you folks got here. That's a great yours. Well, now you might say that, Chief. Then again, you might not. Yeah, this might be the very best thing ever happened to you folks. Do you mock us? We might have been sent, for all you know. Sent? Yes, ma'am. The goddess moves in her own way to bring about her will. Yes. 
You hit her on the head for once. I did? You know that redheaded goddess and you don't know where she's at? We do. Tyler Tommy! Blackfish, wait. Do not do what cannot be undone. The goddess will destroy them if they lie. She will destroy us if she has truly chosen them. Your lives are yours. If you are speaking truth, say where the woman is. When Atawa returns with her, then you will be free. Yes, they must think we're dummies. We might as well be home for all they respect us. I'll tell you what, Chief. You cut us loose, and we'll bring her back. The goddess moves in her own way. Do not think you can betray us. You got the word of Bing and Hines. Come on. Atawa! Not you. Tupi! It's Tupi! sacred my hat. <laughs> I'm ashamed of you, Ben. I'm ashamed. Of me? What for? How many red-headed women do we have the acquaintance of? Well, see, well, Rebecca Boone's the only one I know of. You think I'd turn her over them bloodthirsty savages? You had your fingers crossed when you said it? Well, I'll smart them so as we could get away. There's Heinz blood running through my veins. Bingen? Yeah. Bingen. <laughs> 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 Doubled on our tracks back there. Come on out and dry yourself. Them, them owner draggers are hound dogs when it comes to picking up trails. Well, that's why we're running through the water. It's the safest place to be. Safest place in running in the water. Hey, hey, come here. I just got my feet wet again. I got an idea. You got your Barlow knife with you? I have my pocket where she lives. Yeah, well, give me the loan up. My Barlow knife, Bingham. Would you rather have that bloodthirsty savage marry Miss Boone? Oh, I don't guess so. Well, then give me it here. Hey, keep it nice and sharp. Oh, you can stab her in the back so she can't marry him? <laughs> and you talk about being neighborly. You just wait here. <laughs> What you gonna do with her? I'm leaving her for them bloodthirsty savages to find. You know what the plain trail I'm leaving? You mean I won't never more see her? You want that bloodthirsty savage? Well, no, I already said I did, didn't I? Well, all right then. How pretty, I'm backing out. See? Did you leave her anywhere where she won't die of rust? Huh? Did you leave her anywhere where she won't die of rust? What kind of brother you think you got, anyway? 
Come on. You want to wait around here and get scalped? <laughs> when they come on that trail I left for them, they'll follow all right. They may smell a rat at first, but when they see that Barlow knife, as if you just lost it out of carelessness. I would never, never do that. Now, how are they going to know if you would or not? They'll keep on going the way they started, thinking to come up on us, whilst we just keep going on our own sweet way, till they get tired and quit and go on home, outnumbered and out thumped. No, they won't, Bingham. They're going to find my Barlow knife, and they're going to slit our throats. Yes, I got me an idea. Come on. <laughs> yes. We're going to have to leave the scene where we was born and bred. Where for? Well, New Orleans is a nice town, they say. <laughs> That's a month-long walk from here, Bingham. Yeah, well, who's got the brains in this family, huh? Um, well, you, you ain't got no supplies, Bingham. Uh, you ain't got no gun. You ain't got no bullets to shoot in a gun. Yeah, well, Cincinnati has. You ain't got no credit. All right, shut oh. up and let me think of something to tell Cincinnati so you'll believe. Maybe, maybe that Mrs. Boone's in danger, see? And if we don't find something no, to help her... he ain't gonna believe that. Well, besides us getting tarred and feathered when it come out what her danger is. Besides being run out of Boonesboro on a rail. Well, is there anything you would believe? Well, sure. I can tell him that, uh... No, that wouldn't work. Or I could say that, uh... No, I wouldn't do it either. I got it! That feller offering us that handsome job in New Orleans? Except we gotta get there right away and he'll send the money for the supplies? <laughs> Was I there? As much as me, that Mr. Abernathy that took such a shine to the both of us. You gotta remember him. Oh, you mean just pretend, don't you? Yeah, why else you think I'm wearing out this eyeball for? Come on! All you gotta do is just nod your head to everything I say. Yeah, I want don't even open up your mouth. I never open my mouth when you're talking, Bingham. At least I try not to open my mouth. Ain't that the Boones' horse and cart? Sure looks like it might be. Pigs and kicks and shovels. That's Abigail of Boons' mare on. Yeah, single like a soldier then. It's the Boons' horse and cart. We better talk to Cincinnati later. Anson Bingham, you come here. You two get back here before I drag you back by the heel. Hi, Miss Boone. We've been looking all over for you. You were looking for me. I've been waiting at my house for you. You never thought of looking there, did you? Now, you know how badly I needed that salt. Yes, ma'am. Well, we're sorry we're too late. You're late, but you ain't that late. Bingham, you know what we forgot? What? Oh, I sure do. We'll go get it and we'll be right back. Oh, don't you move a step. Now, you're gonna get in that wagon, and you're gonna go out to the Salt Lakes, and you're gonna fill every one of those kegs. We gotta tell. No, we don't. Hey, that's you hit her on the head again. We'll have you saw it for you in the morning, Mrs. Boone. You'll have it by moonrise. Giddy up. I know I will. I'm going with you to watch. You don't trust us. Get in the back. I'll drive. <laughs> Oh, 
shipless pears since God created green apples. She don't know what she's doing, does she? Yes, and she's gonna do it just the same. I'll have your gingham for you when you get back, Becky. <laughs> As red as marriage fire. Forgive me. I have offended Corn. I do not think so. She too is a woman. Your woman. She will be your wife. No. I do not believe it. She was your vision. The vision comes, no man can ask for it. No man can know its true meaning before it is revealed. The vision will never say that I am a goddess. Forgive me again if you can. I will obey. When the red-headed woman comes... There is none. The white desecrators lied to save their lives. I wish I could believe. I feel it in my throat. That woman does not live on this earth, and if she did, she would not come with them. Dawn, Corn is our goddess, our mother. Corn is merciful. She will not take you away from me. She will not leave you alone without a house. <laughs> Sign, at least. Sign of what? We just hope everything turns out the way you hope. It will. I'm running it. these people. woman will escort you to your house. She must have young woman close to her to attend her. I will attend her. I was angry. I have offended her. It is well to earn forgiveness. Come. You are very beautiful. I can see that you are kind. Untie them. Listen, Chief. I will give you the reward I promised you. Your lives. Yeah, well, listen, Chief. It's we can... more than you deserve. Now go. And if ever you return, I will take back your reward. <laughs>
Is it fine enough for you? We have pleased her. It is your marriage dress. <laughs> it's a little late for that, I'm afraid. My marriage was some time ago. No, oh, that was another life. Tonight, we rejoice that you have come. In the morning begins the time of prayer and purification. On the second night, the night of the full moon, in the dark hour before the dawn, you will wed a tower. A tower? A tower! <laughs> Now the goddess rests and meditates. She will speak to you in the evening while we rejoice. You came to him. You told him. Our tribe is yours. Attend her. He will be your husband. Fetch me a thinking straw, will you, yes? Make it a good one this time, will you? <clears throat> bad luck, I called it. What's bad luck? Well, if we'd had this rig yesterday, we'd be on our way to New Orleans now. None of this need happen. Yeah, we could have sold the kegs and the tools, and bought us new beaver hats, and bowled along the highway to New Orleans in the admiration of all eyes. That's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we ought to do. We didn't ask her to come to salt digging. Marry no bloodthirsty savvies anyway, did we? Neither one of us. We did everything we could to get her not to do it. I washed my hands up. Me too, the both of them. I'm ready when you be. We might as well just unhitch. We can't rescue her till nightfall.
boat who were in comforter. get in here and rescue her now, could we? Unless I'd have borrowed yours. Rescue her. She's having a good time. <laughs> She's the last lady I rescue. Me too. I'm through with them. The whole caboodle. We're going to New Orleans. Me too. And a new beaver hats we're going to get. Gets monotonous, don't it? Keep him shut. Bring it. Huh? You open your eyes, you can't see nothing. Pray for the sun to rise. It will. Thank you. This is your purification day. My what? Take off your clothes. I most certainly will not. Forgive me, goddess, for asking you to do what should be done for you. Leave me alone. Out. No. Goddess, it's no. necessary. Not, it's it's not out here. You. The water, please. Ah, it's necessary to be purified. No, this is necessary. No, 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 no,
Yeah, the treasure ain't worth it. Oh, please go. Until the darkest hour before the dawn, the hour of your marriage. You stay. You love a tower, don't you? And a tower loves you. It was before we knew. We could not know. Why weren't you married? You knew. You were his vision. I want you to tell me. You told him. You will know who your wife truly is when you see that my hair is red. In the darkest hour of the night? In the red light of the marriage fire. And how do they make this marriage fire red? Show me. I am afraid. Now, if I'm a goddess, Go ahead, show me. No, stay close to the fire. Here, here. Put this up next to your face. Oh, yes. Yes. Trust me. You are the goddess. <sighs> Just don't be afraid. I don't think I am. Now, tell me. During the ceremony, can you be near the marriage fire alone? I must be. Wise woman will be with you. And watch me. Now, when I make um, this sign, Bring forth the bride. Good luck, Mrs. Boo. Goddess. Hello, Mrs. Boo. Because you tried to help me. Didn't do a very good job of it, did we? Goddess, the sun will rise. Maybe it just won't for once, huh? Corn is our goddess. Corn is our mother. She has spoken to our son and brother. In the dark hour before the dawn, she has spoken. <laughs> you will What's the see with my you? face. <laughs> cry at wedding. <laughs> you will know who your wife truly is. Ah, A 
tower, behold your bride. In the red light of the marriage fire, you will know who your wife truly is. She awaits your embrace. meat on the table for me, please? Is your uh, seasoning about ready? Will be, as soon as you'll break open a keg of salt for me. <clears throat> you mean this uh, keg of salt over here? Well, yes, of course. What are the keg? A berry. I got it myself, Ma. With really? the single shot, you have no idea the work we went to to surprise you. Oh, that must have been exciting. The second day out, we saw a bear, but she was a she with cubs. So we let her go, of course, and never another, no matter how hard we searched and looked, till Pa said, well, I guess there's not going to be bear ham this Christmas. And all of a sudden, there it was. A cinnamon black bear just ambling along. And your pa loaned you his rifle. I bent down, laid it across a fallen tree, just waited and waited. Indian salt. <gasps> is it? Sure it is. Our salt comes in chunks. Just like it's dug up from the digs. Indians like to pound it. Oh, well, salt is salt, as far as I'm concerned. But, Ma... Israel, don't pester you, Ma. Well, I just wanted to tell her. Well, now, you and I had a fine hunting trip. We had fun every day and every hour, and you even got to shoot a bear. Now, your mother had to stay here every day, same thing, over and over, all by herself. And what do we do when we come home? First thing, we start to nag her. Gee, I never thought of it like that. Oh, well, it really isn't that serious. Pa, can we take Ma along next time? Well, if she wants to go. Ma, you don't know what real excitement is. But Pa and I'll show you next trip. And we'd even treat you like a... A goddess? <laughs> 